I am about to upload the first video in the series. Here we go. supposed to start why did my phone just run out of storage uh, uh. maybe this is better so I can actually film with my camera as I intended for these videos to be filmed with my camera as I was saying <laughs> good morning it's Sunday um, I'm supposed to start filming today but I'm not well I am because I'm starting, I'm explaining why I'm not filming, but I think it's a good reason. Uh, I just started my cycle today and look at this YouTube lineup that I have going on. Look how many tabs I have open. That's how many videos I have lined up. I have my coffee. I'm going to make some tea with cramp bark in it later. Um, I have really bad cramps, so I'm smoking a little. I have a nice fireplace going on in the background. It's been gloomy and rainy in LA, which is kind of crazy. I'm living for it, honestly. Uh, and I'm not doing jack shit today, uh, except watching all of these videos and going grocery shopping later. Um, I'm also playing D&D later with some friends, but not really anything else. Hey, it's me again. I just want to inter- like, I want to- Oh, God. <laughs> I want to replay what just happened. And I want to know if anyone else does this. Uh, sometimes I get so infuriated with myself that I am stuck to this device, like glue. So I'll get up and I'll realize that I don't need to take it with me. I could leave it on the couch. And then I make sure that there's nothing on the couch for me to throw it on. And then I go, get the fuck away from me! <laughs> Thank God for this case, man. Um, does anyone else do that? <laughs> it's time to wash my cup. I wash it after I'm done with my cycle, but so wash it like boil it before because it just sits in my cabinet for some time I don't have a case for it which is annoying um. okay water is set to boiling and while I'm at it let's just go ahead and make some tea because I'm gonna need that I know I said earlier that I probably wasn't gonna film today but I think I'm just excited to start doing these vlogs again so I just want to talk to y'all I was just being dramatic my hormones are all over the place the past few days no wonder um so I'm gonna make this yerba mate I can't remember if it what is it I think it's mate chai um mate tea and this is cramp bark from my sister-in-law gave me the whole stick. It's actually hanging. There's, it's hanging right there. Um, this is all its bark though that I have. And she got it from her school back in Washington. And it's fucking magical. Let me tell you what. It's literal bark. <laughs> it's called cramp bark. I'm not sure what the actual name uh, of the plant is called that this comes from. Maybe it's cramp bark. I don't know. It is fucking amazing for cramps. Let me tell you that. Go figure. That's a good amount. I'm also going to put in some fresh cardamom. I got a pound it. That was a lot. Oh well. Good for me. 
Oh my gosh. Um, I think I'm also going to use this rock sugar for sweetener. I have to crush this up too. This is just a whole piece of rock sugar. Delicious. I've switched mortals. M mortals? I've switched mortars. Oh, that was perfect. <laughs> I just needed about that much. There's my concoction, cramp bark, mate chai, blend, cardamom, rock sugar. <sighs> this is going to be a good tea. has some caffeine. I have the cramp bark for my cramps, cardamom for flavor and probably many other benefits, rock sugar for sweetness. So something that I have planned this week is to kind of redecorate for the fall vibes. We've also been in this apartment now for a year and a half and I've just had the same kind of decorations up and I feel like I need to kind of revamp, move some things around, not so much furniture, um, but like decor and our mugs, for example. <laughs> so I'm gonna do that sometime this week. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't have to talk about all the things that I'm gonna do because you're gonna see it. You're gonna see it. I'm vlogging again. I'm on YouTube again. That's so exciting and scary. <laughs> My other tea is doing well too. And we're gonna put a timer on for uh, both of them. All right. Well, that's a fun spot. The recent FIFA Women's World Cup broke all records in terms of viewership and ticket sales. There's so much that you can learn from Joy as well, from learning to let the light in. I genuinely feel like I'm in my light years right now. to wash and prep all of these veggies and fruit and tofu also. So while I'm doing that, I'm going to be listening to Moonbeaming, which is a podcast that I absolutely love. Right now I'm listening to episode 111, which is the astrology for the rest of this year. I haven't listened to many episodes this season. I don't know why, but I'm getting back into it. And it's better than just like scrolling through my phone while I'm also doing a task or, I don't know, watching a YouTube video, so. Let's get on with that. Oh, let me show you what I have to wash. I have arugula, broccoli, red bell pepper, serrano peppers, yellow and green squash, carrots, tomatoes, an apple and a peach, and all of that tofu that I need to drain and freeze. Okay, let's get to work. That took a second and I ended up going into a different episode of Moonbeaming. So let me show you what I did. I washed our tomatoes, the apple, and the peach. Here in the freezer, I'm freezing three blocks of tofu to then thaw and use in recipes. Uh, I also cut up a bunch of bananas for smoothies. Down here I prepped the zucchini. No, this is not zucchini. I prepped the celery. This is for cooking. This is for smoothies. I washed all of the squash and the peppers, prepped those, washed all of the broccoli and the bell pepper, carrots that are in water, the arugula. I just put a vegetable bag in there to soak up some moisture. And I think that's all I did. Awesome.
watching this good. We watched an episode of Only Murders in the Building. Yeah. Oh shit. <laughs> I was thinking, yeah. Sure. I was thinking either a salad or a sandwich. I just ate lunch and I have some homework to do and I have a very specific way that I set up my desk for my homework. Um, I have this monitor that's connected to my Xbox and I always put on like a little ambiance but it doesn't have speakers so I pull up the same video on my computer and I listen to the audio because it has like wind and rain and firecrackers. Fri firecracker? What am I saying? I listen to the audio in my headphones and I also put on the Coffee Talk soundtrack. I'm gonna listen to the first one. It's from a game, uh, which is a really fun game. I honestly have been thinking about replaying it. So I have some ambiance, I have some ear sounds, and I'm gonna get into this chemistry homework for a little bit. I forgot to mention that I also time my homework se sessions. I like this visual 30 minute timer. So I'll do 30 minutes of work and then like five minute break. just took a shower and I'm ready to be in my pajamas for the rest of the day and I love that for me. It's 4.30 and I've done everything that I needed to do. I have some eye masks on and I got the idea when I was thinking about what to fill these videos with. Uh, I got the idea for like a little book club although it's more like a book share because I'll just be sharing what I'm currently reading. You can share what you're currently reading um, but we're not really going to be reading the same book or, I mean, if we're reading the same book at the same time, that's great. But I did want to start just reading more and one of the things I did, me and my husband did, to do that was to get ourselves Kindles. We got Kindles for our one year wedding anniversary, which was August 27th. So. Yeah, we've just been having fun with that. Before I got the Kindle though, I was reading the fourth book in the Bridgerton series. It's called Romancing Mr. Bridgerton. Uh, I really like the Bridgerton series. I started reading it when the Netflix show came out. And yeah, I don't know. It's one of those books that when I started actually reading more, the series just caught my attention. So. I've been allowing myself to read it because if you're not interested in it, why are you reading it? But right now, I'm on chapter 11 of A Court of Thorns and Roses. A Court of Thorns and Roses. <laughs> if you have been on like book talk or just been around popular books recently, this series has been everywhere. Uh, recently, one of my friends suggested it to me. so. I just started to read it, decided to read it. It's really good so far. I like it. It's a good read. I'm on uh, chapter 11. I think I'm going to read a little bit more today. What else do I have to do? Oh, I wanted to take my nail polish off. I put a clear coat on, but then I wash my hair and you can kind of see it like tinged it blue. So I'm going to do that and talk about this book. If you don't know anything about this book, it's a fantasy novel series. Um, I don't know anything about it except for the 11 chapters that I read, so I could be wrong. But I think it's a like fantasy romance 
and it follows this 19 year old named Feyre who is a mortal human that accidentally kills a fae and then goes to live in the fae lands with one of the fairies friends that she killed hi this is editing aura i've finished akatar now and it is hilarious to see how i what i thought of the book beforehand i cannot wait to start the next one i'm still trying to get all of the like details if you have any book suggestions leave them down below now that i have a kindle it's a lot easier to get books and just read them whenever uh, especially because I am a lover of hardcover books I really don't like paperback books most of the time because they are very small and I find them hard to read um, so I end up buying like hardcover books anyway because they're just bigger and sturdier and I like how they look so it'll be nice to have the Kindle where I can read whatever I want and also not have to worry about where I'm gonna put these books because our bookshelf is pretty full. This keeps sliding. But yeah, that's pretty much it for my Monday. The only other thing that I'm gonna do today is figure out what to eat for dinner and figure out what I'm doing next in Baldur's Gate. <laughs> I should talk about the video games that I play a little bit. Maybe I'll do that in a different day or a different segment, but um, yeah, if you didn't know, I'm a gamer. <laughs> No, some of my favorite games to play though recently have been Tears of the Kingdom, Legend of Zelda, uh, Cyberpunk, very excited for the new game DLC to come out, Baldur's Gate, there was, oh, Stardew Valley, of course. <laughs> All right, the nails are done, I'm gonna add some moisture. Oh, I also should take down my hair, <laughs> I'm not sure if I'll get to it in this vlog, but I am going to be dyeing my hair again soon. I'm really tired of the blue just all of a sudden. I think it was like me feeling like fall is officially here. So I'm going to get the blue out and I think I'm going to do like brown, but with some blonde pieces and maybe try and I'm going to stay away from ginger, but I had it for a while and I love it and it's fall. Like. I can, I can do it. I really love my short hair, but I did go a little scissor happy the last time I cut it. So I've just been doing a lot of hairstyles that like help it to stay out of my face so it can grow a little longer. But I love doing things to my hair. It's always been a form of self-expression for me and it feels good every time I do it, even if I cut it a little bit too short sometimes.
it's Wednesday. I woke up with a headache. Um, and my hair looks like trash. Whoa, lighting. Hello? <laughs> so I put this wig on and a beanie because I have to be on camera for class in 15 minutes. I did not talk to y'all much uh, yesterday. I was taking a me day. I did film quite a bit and do quite a bit, but I didn't want to be like on camera. Uh, I'm still just getting through this damn period. As I've gotten older, my cycles have gotten more even, more consistent, more predictable. But my symptoms have just evolved. Like every every cycle is a new symptom. And last cycle, it was just so much puffiness <laughs> in my face. I've been doing a lot of like acupuncture and gua sha and deep breaths with hot steam. But I don't know. I know that your cycle can weaken your immune system and uh, that is definitely a theme with mine so far at least at this point so yeah I'm gonna do class and then I'll talk to y'all after that I'm gonna do some homework too um, but then we're gonna do some fun stuff and I'm very excited for it so time to work hey y'all I just finished my class and I was working on some homework for a little bit, but I needed to take a break. So I'm gonna do what I had planned to do, which is decorate for fall. As you can see, our place is very beautiful, but there are some things that I wanna move around and switch up for the season. So I'm gonna do that. And I'll just show you tidbits here. The biggest thing, oh my God. <laughs> I have my headphones in and I just got a text and my volume was on full last apparently. Um, the biggest thing that I want to do is, ignore that, clean the bookshelf and reorganize it because it's very full and it's also just hasn't changed since we set it up when we moved here. So that's the biggest thing and then I have some other like decor little things that I want to do to spice it up give give this season and our house a new life so yeah that's what i'm gonna do okay here's the plan i have gilmore girls going on i'm gonna take everything off this bookshelf dust it clean it put everything back try to figure out what i want to take down like these and this candelabra to decorate the space that is the first step. That's where we're gonna start. Here's the before. is all done let me show you how I arranged things for starters I finally hung this training sword that my husband has because it just looks phenomenal right there so cool up top I just have my pothos in this basket and some little jars with dried herbs in them flowers as chamomile I think that has marigolds in it and then I have these little candle holders on either side the first level on this side is a picture of my husband and I, and I decided to put our current book reads, physical book reads, because we have a Kindles now. So this is what he's currently reading, and this is what I am currently reading or going to read in the future. New buys, basically. I have another pothos that was terribly eaten by my cat, so that's taken away now. <laughs> on this side, we have some fantasy books, some general series. This is mostly my husband's. Moving down, we have mostly Brandon Sanderson books. 
as you can see and some other fantasy books as well as some dragon minis i really like how this turned out moving on to this side uh in these little shelves when i have a cat up there these ones are kind of just collections of books that i don't really have specific places for like they're small so i just put them here these are some like general self-help religious type books this is my shelf. I have the current Bridgerton series that I have finished. Uh, this one is just paperback, so I have it on display because I am a hardback girl. Then I have some other random novels and things that I have read. Moving down, I didn't really change a whole lot down here. Well, I guess on these two shelves I did. This is also general novel hood, but... Uh, we don't really see this corner a lot because usually my husband has a table out for D&D here. So I just kind of put books here that we don't really read. Uh, yeah, that's that. Had to make it look good though. Another collection of small books that I didn't know where to put. This section, this is like all of my witchy things. And this is more into self-help and meditation and mindfulness. I have some crystal books, etc. Moving down, we have all of my herbal and vegetable and homey, gardeny things. A continuation, sorry if you can hear the like lawnmowers. Uh, a continuation of self-help books, some art books and manga because I did not know where to put them. <laughs> uh, same with this, a little section of things I didn't know where to put. This shelf, I just rearranged a little bit, but I didn't change. This is all my husband's D&D books. Same with this one. This is all of his acting books. I put all of his journals here that I found that were just in the shelf in various places. And then this section, this is all like uh, medical terminology, like school books. We have like my medical books, uh, Punjabi learning language books, workout books, anatomy books cameras that's that <laughs> then down here we have all of my piano books puzzles art books uh magazine collection they're mostly thrasher and more D, &D stuff that is just storage because we don't really see this section like i said there's a table right here that's actually right there and it usually goes right there and that is our bookshelf Oh my gosh, I'm really shaky, y'all. I'm sorry, I need to eat probably and sit down and take a break. Um, but I'm so happy that it's done. And I will be doing various other decorating things throughout the time, but I think I'll just show you what I've done after I've done it. I'm gonna go, because that's really loud. Love. The fuck? Love you, love you, love you. <laughs> Would you believe that less than three hours ago, I had dark blue dye on my hair? Because I don't. Holy shit. That worked so well. Um, there's like bits of pink left over in some places. To be honest, I think it looks really cute. Um, holy shit. You saw the dye. You saw the developer. I didn't think that would work so well but it did now i'm blonde not for long though i am dyeing it brown and i'm excited to see what the like pink sections are like look at that interesting pinky where did that come from i don't know my roots are definitely i didn't expect them to get this light <laughs> well if you guys need to take blue out of your hair just for reference i used the arctic fox blue jean as well as the uh, aquamarine i believe that was both on my hair so they're semi-permanent but i have heard horror stories of people trying to get blue out of their hair and 
I'm just shocked that this worked so well and so thankful. Like, I don't have to do the extra step of dyeing it orange if there was blue left over to cancel it out. It's just, it's just gone. <laughs> so while my hair dries, I'm gonna do a little bit of chemistry homework. And if I finish that, I'll probably continue with my fall decor. I did a lot earlier in the day, but there's still a shelf area in the kitchen that I wanna switch around, reorganize, make look pretty. So that's the plan. Happy Wednesday. Hey y'all, how's it going? I just finished my chemistry homework and I have done all the things that I wanted to do for the day, except for rearrange my kitchen shelf. Let me show you. So this is my kitchen shelf. It's right here. It's just a little shelf and it has my mugs on it and some tea stuff. And we keep our kitchen speaker here and this little grindy thing. And I just wanna make this general area a little bit more pleasing and festive. So this is the before. OMG, wow, here is the after. Let me show you what I did. So these used to be behind the bags. I brought them out to showcase that I am indeed a baker and a chef, as well as these cookbooks. This is a complete book of breads and vegan comfort classics. So I will be inspired to learn new meals, maybe make some bread. We'll see, our oven doesn't work half the time, sad. This is still here, speaker is still there. In the first shelf, I displayed some of my favorite mugs that are more fall-like. This is my favorite coffee cup. This is my husband's favorite coffee cup. And then just these two gorgeous things. I also have these little Himalayan salt shot glasses. And I just added in my various utensils for coffee. There's a timer here, uh, my matcha whisk. Moving down, we have our tea kettle on display with our cups and some teas that I'm highlighting that I want to try. These are like whole flower teas and this is one that I have open, it's raspberry green. And this is my crimp bark. And then moving down, this is just more general teas that I have on weekly. I also brought out this hot chocolate so I can have it and remember that I have it. Moving down, these I brought out of our pantry because I just needed something to fill this space. And they are containers of lentils. These two are lentils. This is a spice mix from my mom-in-law. And then the last thing, I don't have anything to put here. I put some cat food, that's it. I don't really have anything to put all the way down here. But that looks so much better. Yippee! I don't know what I'm gonna do now. I'll probably do all of these dishes. All done. For dinner, I'm making chicken wraps with these Morning Star vegan chicken tenders. Are they Morning Star? Yeah. They're really good. I'm gonna put some arugula and onion and make some french fries and ranch mustard into a wrap. What's up y'all? I grew my hair. I grew my hair in less than 24 hours. All from my head. Don't look at my dirty room. How dare you? That's so rude. Anyway, hi, it's Thursday. I haven't talked to you at all, <laughs> but I've recorded some bits. So you've seen my day. Um, yeah, I just put in these extensions because the reason I dyed my hair was so I could wear my extensions for my sister-in-law's wedding at the end of this month. So, these extensions, they're from Bellamy. 
I know this is the first time I'm putting them with short hair, so I didn't do the best job up here. Don't pay attention to that, but they're hella long. I use them for my wedding, and it's a sleigh. Oh my gosh, you can see the sword in the back that I hung up. So, other than the things that I showed you today, I have a really chill day. I got done with all of my things at like 2 p.m. And I've just been chilling. And my husband just went to go get us Starbucks. We're gonna try some of the new fall drinks, play Baldur's Gate, play other video games, watch some shows, hang out, just have a chill time. And I'm just, I'm just obsessed with this currently. I love my short hair, but I also love that I have the option to give myself hella inches. Just like that. A boom, a pow, a skididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididid